Hello friends, I'm and today data I'm in the fantastic world of Linux. And today I'm going to customize the basic clone desktop, which you get out of the box in most of the distributions. Alright then, so here we are at desktop and this is how your desktop will look like. This beautiful wallpaper along with this beautiful color palette and let me just show you the theme. This is how your applications will look like. The theme is consistent throughout the GNOME desktop and its applications. And that is one of the best functionalities of Linux. And so today we are going to customize the basic GNOME desktop into this. And it is pretty easy. But first let me just make it go back to how GNOME looks like out of the box. So here we are in the default GNOME theme. Well right now I am using Fedora. And it is the most native GNOME experience. You can see everything has gone back to how it was. Now, the first thing you have to do is to install a few applications. So, go to GNOME software or any other, well, software center or software tool. Now, search for GNOME tweaks or just tweaks. You should find GNOME tweaks here and install it. Now, the second one requires flat packs. And you most probably already have in your system. All you have to do is type extension. And you will find two of them. Now, this one, GNOME extensions, is the real one which most of you probably find. If you don't have, well, flat packs. This is the native one. But what we're going to go for is extension manager. From here, we can download and, you know, configure extensions. While this one, the other one only allows you to configure. You will have to install it from somewhere else. So just install it here. And now before going there, well, we have to install a few things. So open your browser and search for Orkis GDK theme. You should find this website from GitHub. All you have to do is just go to this arrow and download the zip file. Now we have to do the same for Papyrus icon theme. But there is indeed a better option for you to install it. Just scroll down and you will see here third party packages. Now choose your operating system. Well, if you are on an Ubuntu or Debian base, just go for Debian. This, well, this one is this one. If you're on Fedora, go for this one. And if you're on Arch, well, you have all the options. So right now I'm on Fedora, so I'm just going to copy this command, open the terminal and paste it and enter. And yeah, it is going to take just a tad amount of time, but it'll be worth it. Well, it all depends on your internet connection. Well, I already have it installed, so well, you know, it's saying it's already installed. For you, it's going to install it right away. And now it is time for the cursor, for which I'm going to obviously use Bibata cursor. Just search for Vibata Cursor Theme. Go to the first website from GitHub. Now here we have to do the same. Scroll down till you find this. For Arch Manjaro here. For Fedora here. And for Ubuntu it's going to be a different thing. But well. First you have to copy this command. Which, which is going to well. Load the repository. And I already have that. Now the second thing is. Just copy this command. Which actually installs the thing. And enter. And there it is. Well, I already have installed all of these. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Now comes the most important part. The wallpaper. Well, from the link in the description, you will find this beautiful gallery of wallpapers. Well, this is my personal collection. Like really. And for this one, I have planned to use a pretty minimal, simple and elegant one. There it is. This one. So just download it. Download it. And now let's begin the real thing. The customization. Now we don't need all of that stuff. So for the first thing, we're going to go to Extension Manager. Go to Browse and search for Blur My Shell. Here it is. Just click on the Install button right here. And it's going to install it. And now the next thing is, well, just enable it. There we go. Now, the in few cases, your dash is also applied a different kind of blur. Let me just check if I have that or not. In the dash, it is... a. It is indeed enabled. If I turn it off, I don't see much of a difference. So I'm going to leave it on. And now comes the real customization part. Go to files. The place where you have downloaded this Orkis theme master. Right click and extra. Now in the folder, you cannot directly go and install it. You need a few, well, attributes. Open in terminal or console. And now type dot slash install dot sh. Which is, you know, same thing as opening this install sh button. Well, file. But we're going to need to add dash l. This is libite writer. This is important to get, you know, this theme on libite writer based applications. Now enter. 
Now it might ask you to install something, just install it. Well, it's just a dependency. And then now, well, most of the things are installed already. Now it is time to apply them from tweaks. Appearance. Now in the cursor, you will have a lot of them. You can go with this white theme, but I prefer the dark one. Bibata Modern Classic. Oh, it's the inverted one. Originalize. No, Modern Classic. There we go. Now for the icons, Papyrus, just Papyrus. And for legacy applications, Orcus Light. And now for the wallpaper, just, well, apply it like this. Set. And there it is. Your beautiful GNOME desktop. Like, it is indeed beautiful, isn't it? Maybe one of the most beautiful ones I've ever had. And this is really fluid. The overall workspace of GNOME Desktop makes it elegantly fluid. And well, you can change your ascent colors as well if you want to. Right now it's blue. And then in the settings, well, I'm just roaming around. It's Fedora 42, but later I'm going to install Fedora 43 when Fedora 43 is released. But leaving that, this is indeed gorgeous, isn't it? like really really gorgeous and i believe that's it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think about it and if you want to go a little further i don't know how you can do that like you can have some widgets you can actually customize the top panel through some extensions yeah but to be honest i like this thing just pure vanilla canoe with a beautiful theme and a wallpaper and an icon pack that's it that's all i need and the end result is just beautiful well, let me know in the comments if you like this customization. And yes, I want to talk about something. Like you see, Windows 10 has ended, we already know. Literally man, this is just so dumb. I've been creating a lot of videos recently, but due to my college, I've not been pretty consistent. Like you see, 12 days, then 4 days, then 2 weeks. Earlier when I was at my home, the college was not started. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I was creating all the best videos I've ever made like these. And recently, since I so less and little time, I don't know, like maybe my sessional examinations or something. I want to know, like, should I continue creating daily videos about Linux? Like going all in, every day, new video, new topic, maybe something like that. Or I should stick to two or three weekly videos. Let me know in the comments. But to be honest, I want to go all out, you know, for our business. I'm right now at 7k. I can easily reach around 10k maybe before 2026, hopefully. I would like to reach there. And then I have this Discord channel which you can join. Well, I'm mostly not so active, but the community is pretty nice and helpful. So if you are a Linux user and if you run into any problems, you can always come here or you can talk about anything. So yep, I believe that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave in the comments what you think about it and Yep, I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm on signing out.